بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما أغلق والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق والهادي إلى صراطك المستقيم وعلى آله حق قدره ومقداره العظيم وقفنا البارحة عند قول المؤلف رحمة الله عليه ولا يحل له أن يؤخر التوبة ولا يقول حتى يهديني الله فإنه من علامات الشقاء والخذلان وتم وطمس البصيرة. We stop yesterday. We stopped at the saying of the author. ولا يحل له أن يؤخر التوبة. And it is not permissible to delay repentance. ولا يقول حتى يهديني الله. Nor to say I will repent once Allah guides me. And he said, فَإِنَّهُ مِنْ عَلَامَاتِ الشَّقَاءِ وَالْخِذْلَانِ وَطَمْسِ الْبَصِيرَةِ Verily, this very saying is the sign of, or from among the signs of wretchedness. It is this, saying this means three things. Number one, الشقاء. It is a sign of شقاء, of uh, wretchedness and true shaka is to die on something other than Islam. To leave this world without Islam is shaka. Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala says on the day of judgment there will be two people shaki wa sa'id. Faminhum shaqiyun wa sa'idun. A group will be richard and another will be successful. May Allah make us among the su'ada. Amin. And he says, repenting Tawbah and saying that I am waiting until Allah guides me, that is a sign of shaka, of wretchedness. Well, al khidlan it is also a sign of abandonment of Allah, that Allah wa ta'ala forsaken him. It's a sign of being forsaken by Allah wa ta'ala. May Allah uh, not forsake us, I mean. It is a sign that Allah wa ta'ala forsake one. And watamsil basira, it is also a sign of blinding of the spiritual eye or the inner sight. Basira. That one does not see with his inner sight. Qul hadihi sabibi adu'u ila ala basira. So we have this side, but we have also another side that is the side of the heart. <coughs> when one goes to sleep and they have dreams, they see things in their dream. Do they see it with this side or the inner side? They see it with the inner side. But that inner side that you see with when you sleep, you have to see with it or the deeper side than that, which is a spiritual side, you should be able to see with that side while you are awake. And when you see with that side, you do that which is right. May Allah wa ta'ala grant us good basira ya Then he said, وَيَجِبُ عَلَيْهِ حِرُّ لِسَانِهِ مِنَ الْفَحْشَائِ It is an obligation for the responsible when he says the responsible he talks about the adult muslim the muslim that is adult once a muslim is adult he is called now mukallaf someone who's legally and morally responsible for their acts so he says it's an obligation for him to protect his tongue from al fahsha fahsha is uh, full speech full speech from fahsha anything that is that is that is full anything that is not benefiting is actually full al fahsha kalam fahsh kalam that is ugly for example when one goes to the bathroom 
saying that I am naming the action or the thing that one is going to do in the bathroom is also is itself fahsha. It's the kalam fahish. In Arabic, we say qada al haja, taking care of the need. You know, so we say use the bathroom or use the or the going to the restaurant, things like that. But if you act, name the action, it's ugly. And one cannot, as a Muslim, we are um, uh, forbidden, we, we, we are asked to protect our tongue from fahsha. Uh, fahsha wal munkar, an evil speech. Munkar is the opposite of ma'roof. You know, Quran, when, 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 we, when we translate the sayings of Allah and the sayings of the Prophet Sallallahu when they talk about Al-Amru bil ma'ruf wa nahi and al munkar we say enjoying good and forbidding evil but Allah does not say Amru bil khair wa nahi an al-shar because khair literally means good but Allah uses ma'ruf something that is known to enjoy that which is known because goodness is known to the heart we are not among the people who believe that we were born with the original sin or we inherit evil. We don't believe in that. We believe that we were born clean and pure, as the Prophet says. When we, when we, when we were born, we were all born with clean fiqh, with, with, with clean heart, with clean, you know. Uh, spirit and, and soul, we are clean when we are born. It is our environment, parents, humans, or shaitans who teaches us to do who teaches us to do evil. So that's why when one does good, we call it ma'roof. It is good. It is known. It is something that is known to the soul. It is known to you as a human being. That's why Imam Hajjab, when rebuking his soul, he said. يا أيها الروح هل ترضى مجاورة على الدوام لهذا المذنب الكذب ألست كل 